He is a singer, performer, songwriter extraordinaire, having penned tunes for numerous other artists as well as for his own band, leading to a 1986 BMI Writer of the Year Award. We are honored indeed to welcome one of the founding members of and singer-guitarist for the band Exile, Mr. J.P. Pennington. Hey, Eddie, thanks for having me, man. Sounds like you've done some homework there. <laughs> well, that, my friend, remains to be seen. Let's talk about the band Exile, formed in 1963. 63, that's correct. Can yeah. you fill us in a little bit on the evolution of the band? The evolution of the band, well, let's see, it's been, it's been a long time ago. We uh, all met in high school. I, I'm actually the only remaining original member from the very first you know inception of the band and you know i mean we uh when everybody uh graduated from high school we decided then that uh you know i mean we, we had been into it for a couple of three years we decided then that uh you know maybe that was uh what we wanted to do for a living and uh we just kind of took it from there, you know, kind of built it from there. Now, JP, I've been playing your music a long time on the radio, and I have to tell you, the first time I played your record, I was working for a rock and roll station in Texas. Now I'm playing your records on a country station in Illinois. Was that a planned change of formats on your part, or did you just discover that country audiences were quicker to embrace your music? It was, it was planned, Eddie. Uh, you know, we had... Uh, we had a very big pop hit called Kiss You All Over. Um, and in, suing, in the ensuing couple of albums after that, we weren't able to quite have an impact with a song like Kiss You All Over, you know, in the pop music world. And uh, during that time, some other artists, uh, namely some, some country artists, were having some success with songs that we had written and, and, and also had recorded on our pop album. So we decided that, you know, maybe maybe we're in the wrong field of music here. And, uh, you know, looking back, I mean, it was obviously it was the, the uh, right thing for us to do. Now, JP, years ago, when the band was touring in full force, as it were, you guys were known to pull over and take some fishing breaks. You always had plenty of fishing tackle in the tour bus. Yeah, we still do. Do you yeah, still? We still? We still try to fish, and uh, we got some golfers, too. I, I, I like to do both. Um, if I know that we're going to be somewhere where I'm going to have time, I'll, I'll always take my stuff. Because, I mean, it, it. you know, you out on the road, you, you end up sitting around quite a bit, and it gets kind of boring, and anything you can do to, to kind of ease that boredom uh, you know, it's 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 with us. It's either fishing or golfing. We're in conversation with J.P. Pennington, singer, songwriter, guitarist, and founding member of the band Exile. It's the songwriting we want to touch upon. Of all the songs you've written, J.P., is there one that stands out, one that makes you the most proud? Well, I guess the one that makes the most money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Well, not not necessarily. There's a song uh, that was a, a hit for us called "She's a Miracle" that I'm I'm really proud of. Uh, me and our, uh, our former bass player Sonny Lamare wrote that song for our daughters. It, it sounds like you know a typical love song lyric, but it's actually about uh, about our daughters. JP, what does the future hold for you and or the band? Well, we're going to continue to tour. Uh, we we're continuing to write, uh, and uh, there may be uh, a, a new studio album in the works. Where we're talking with some people about that, and we, you know, we've got more than enough songs, enough new songs right now to, you know, to 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 have a, a new project. And but we're continuing to write and, and and hopefully get more and better songs. And when and if a deal comes along, then I think we'll be prepared. I think I think we can put together a, a really nice project. Excellent. A couple of quick questions for you here. Okay. If given the opportunity, you personally, any artist or band, living or dead, you'd like to do a duet with? Vince Gill is probably my, my favorite my favorite artist. You know, someone like Merle Haggard. With the, I mean, that that would be a real blast. Oh, there, there are a lot of people. I hate to leave anybody out, but uh, those two uh, kind of come to mind. If I were to sneak a peek at your CD player in your personal vehicle right now, what CD mm -hmm. might I find in there? I've got Nora Jones' new album in there right now. Is there any song out there that is so good that you wish you'd have written it? 
Yeah, there there are uh, there are a couple right now. Leanne Womack's song, I, I'm Gonna Love You Tonight. I'm mean, gonna hate myself in the morning, yeah. but I'm gonna love you tonight. I love that song. What's the silliest thing anyone ever had you sign? Well, we signed every body part imaginable. <laughs> I there's bet. a fellow that there's a fellow that came in one night and uh, uh, said, "I want you to sign something for me." We said, "Okay." What is it? He reached down and uh, took off his prosthetic leg <laughs> and, and and laid it laid it up on the table and had us all sign it. And he snapped it back on and took off. That was a pretty good one. And shy of anything I may have said, what's the strangest interview question you were ever asked? Strangest interview question? Uh, probably that one you just asked me. Was that it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, everybody. This is J.P. Pennington from the group Exile, and I want you to know you're listening to Eddie Bear. <laughs>